Beth in doing a construction debris removal job for a customer on a rainy Tuesday. So we're just backing up. Um, I didn't need the trailer on this job, so we're just going to throw it all in the van and get going. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you what we're doing. So here's what we got. Looks like we got some plywood there. We got a pallet. We got some carpet not too long we got lots of trim over here and we got some bags so yeah we're gonna go ahead and take this get it gone and throw, we'll clean out the van a little bit I already have these boxes in here I meant to go to the recycling and get all this thrown away but I don't have time so we're gonna throw it down there reorganize the van a little bit so this customer had just moved to East Tennessee, and they actually moved from California to Mountain City, but they're selling their home in Mountain City, and I guess they just bought this place, and so they're remodeling the basement, going to refinish it, uh, make it a downstairs living area, and so they were doing some work down there, tearing out some paneling and some trim. And at first they asked if we rent dumpsters and that's not something we do. So I, I've talked with the customer and after, you know, a few minutes um, and he sent us some pictures and everything and realized, hey, it's not something you really, really need a dumpster for. So uh, came out today and got this job done for him. And I didn't hear back for maybe a day or so. And I just thought they'd went on, you know, chose a different company. But uh, the customer apologized that she actually works from home um online in california so i guess she was reaching out on behalf of her dad i think and uh he said uh i guess she called around several companies and couldn't get anyone to come out and do the job but cracking junk removal showed up and got the job done all right we're all finished as you can see we got all the debris behind me in the van carpet scrap wood bags of insulation and when I pulled up, I'm going to be honest, I thought this was going to be a full load. I looked at it and said, yeah, it's going to fill up the van. But uh, to my surprise, it only filled up about half. So I'm excited about that. But a uh, customer was happy with our service. At first, he was thinking about getting a dumpster. And I said, hey, with cracking the junk a little, we can take care of that for you. Uh, get it gone in a matter of no time. And that's what we did. It took maybe 35, 40 minutes, if that. And that includes us talking to the customer, you know, um, backing the van up a couple times to get closer to the garage to avoid getting rained on and collecting payment and also sweeping up yes that's right we sweep up before we leave to make sure each and every job site is clean so it didn't take that long uh, considering how much debris there was lots of small bits of wood and you know we were able to pick that up throw it in no problem get it gone didn't have to wait on a dumpster to arrive didn't have to see it sitting there for a day or even two and uh he can have his garage back. So he says his wife would be happy about that. They can park the car in the garage. And so we were excited and very happy to help out our customer. And uh, tomorrow we got a job. We got a call just a few minutes ago for a couch removal and a mattress removal in Gray, Tennessee. So customer says he has a queen size mattress and a camelback sofa. He says he would have did it himself if he had a truck, but he didn't. So he reached out to us, and so we were going to try to get out there today, but as you can kind of see, it's raining, so we just agreed to come out tomorrow. So we're going to get that taken care of for him then, so I'll bring you guys along. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead, hit that like, drop a comment below, and hit that subscribe. I appreciate your guys' support. I'll catch you guys in the next video.